Welcome everyone. Today in Giraffe, we're going to be talking about how to create views in Giraffe, adding annotations to our project, and also exploring some options in terms of the design that we have proposed for this site. So again, returning to our proposed uh, development on Fig Street in Sydney, Australia, we're going to continue to build this case study out. So the first thing we want to do is um, explore a new option. So the new option I want to explore is removing this tower here and increasing the greenscape um, across this portion of the site. So an easy way to do this is I've got my proposed development layer here and I'm just going to simply duplicate this layer. And now I've got my proposed development copy, which I can double click and let's call this option two to explore. And now I'm just going to turn off the original proposed development layer and I'm going to simply delete what I have um, in the geometry on the right hand side and I'm going to toggle into 2D mode and just drag this across. So a nice um, simple comparison here. Uh, I'm going to remove this node here just so I can square this landscaping up and remove that central node by clicking on it again. So a nice easy comparison um, between these two options and I can toggle between them um, by turning on and off those layers. However, there is Giraffe incorporates views in order to control um, what we can see on the map here. And so I want to just create a view um, in order to compare these options and quickly jump between them. So moving down on the tabbed menu here, we've got the little camera icon uh, that says views. I'm going to select that. No views have been added. I just want to add a new view at the top. And then it gives me a preview of that view. I'm sort of happy with that. And I'm going to enter a title here. So let's call this option two. You can enter a description here. I'm going to leave that blank and just select save. So what that does is now capture that view and it'll populate that in a little thumbnail on the left hand side here. And now what I want to do is capture a view of my other proposed development, the original one that I was building up. So if I return to my layers menu, let's toggle off option two and toggle on our original proposed development. We don't need the properties and usages as that was part of a previous demonstration. So I can delete that here as well by going to the layer options and delete that layer. And that's fine. All right, so we're going to return to views here and add a second view and call this option one. I'm not going to add a description and save that view as well. So now we'll see that view populate um, as a thumbnail on the left hand side here. And if I select my original view, I can now toggle easily between the two views to quickly understand the comparison. And I can also adjust the order as well with these arrows here. So I've moved that view up on the ladder there. The last thing I'd like to do is add some annotations. So returning back to the layers menu, I'm going to go back to my proposed development. So I'm going to toggle off option two and toggle back on proposed development. And let's drag this to the top because that is my preferred option, making sure that layer is active. And I'm going to start to annotate the site here. So I want to identify that there's a bit of a thoroughfare through here to the adjacent Wentworth Park. So I'm going to go up to the annotate tab, select a, there's a number of options here, but I'm going to select the major arrow because this is a important part of my proposal and just draw the start and end of this. And we can see that arrow appear on the screen and I can start to format that to suit my um, project requirements. So we've got a, a line developed there. Um, that identifies that there's a connection. And now I just want to add an, a further annotation to identify what that is. So returning back to annotate and I'm going to add a text and let's drop it in the middle there and just call this a park connection. And maybe let's make this green and then a white text there and change it to um, a rectangle and let's prop it up on a little bit of a, a pole or a stick here so we can lift it up off the ground which is quite nice and I'm going to remove the border on that as well so I'm happy with that one and now we understand a little bit more about this project and what's happening and some of the design decisions behind these strategies.